stores around the tri-state are being forced to get rid of something their clients say is helping them. CBD oil isn't illegal, but selling it is where it gets a little dicey. Here's Walter Smith Randolph. This entire shelf here was full of CBD seltzers. After a visit from the health department, Debbie Ganaway pulled CBD seltzers from her shelves. It's a product Debbie says helped her arthritis. People kept asking me, well, what's, is it really any good? Does it really do anything? So I decided I was going to do it every day so I could see. And the arthritis in my knees stopped bothering me. It's the same story at Dean's Mediterranean Imports. Owner Kate Zaydan says her customers enjoyed the products. Oh, it was a great product for us. Yeah, people loved it. I mean, we had repeat business. Um, people would come back and tell us they had great effects from it. CBD oil is a cannabis compound, but it does not contain THC. That's a psychoactive compound found in marijuana that gives you a euphoric feeling. The Ohio Board of Pharmacy says the state's new medical marijuana program only allows dispensaries to sell CBD products. Well, I think it's ridiculous. I think that they need to figure out how to reword that law so that hemp and hemp products are perfectly legal and should be used in any way possible. The Cincinnati Health Department says it's just following directions from the state. This statement says, in part, local health departments are acting as an extension of the Ohio Department of Agriculture. The issue will ultimately need to be handled by regulators like the Ohio Board of Pharmacy. I just think it's a, it's a shame that um, access has been limited. To me, it's important for people to have access to things that um, make their lives better. 